Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back with Southampton. Uh, this is the February review for Season 3, and as you can see, we're doing actually really amazing in the league. Uh, sitting in third position with 25 games played, three points behind Man City and four behind Man U, which is actually pretty amazing. Chelsea aren't doing as well this year. They've been dominating the past two years, but they're sitting in sixth. Uh, Tottenham are doing well. Huddersfield, Sheffield Wednesday, and Reading are down in the relegation zone. Uh, Newcastle aren't doing so well. Burnley are doing pretty well. Um, but this is halfway through, so we don't know yet. Um, for the transfers, we actually did a lot of transfers. Going out was a lot of loans. Well, and well there's quite a few players on freeze. Uh, uh, Tadanari Lee, Lee Barnard, Jonathan Forte, Goody Duprado, Steve Derrida, Andy Robinson, Otmar Road. Yeah. Um, a lot on loan, Luke Shaw went out on loan, James Ward Pros, Billy Sharp went to QPR for 875k, didn't really think, like I never really used him, a lot more loans, um, Polo Zuniga went on loan, Hu Huyvel went to Norwich on loan, uh, and then Mayuka in the January transfer window went on Stoke to loan, uh, coming in, we have, well start with uh, this guy, it's like our Director of football keeps bringing in young players. So that's where we're getting all these young players from. Uh, Tom Georgieveski, a defensive, a German defensive midfielder. Also, he brought in Ustadigil, <laughs> 19-year-old German defender. Um, we bought Nicholas Bentner from Arsenal for 4.6 million, which is actually a real steal for what he's actually worth and how many goals he's got us this year. Um, then we brought Dennis Ogo for 3.3 million from Man U. German left back and can play defensive mid and centre mid. He's really good all round player. And uh, then we've got John Joe Shelby for 6.5 million from Liverpool. And he's only 22 as well, so he's pretty good. He's doing actually really well for us. Then I got Paul Stark on loan from on loan. 2.3 million from Frankfurt. Uh, I want a young goalkeeper because Burch is really getting on now. Um, then our director brought in Felix Holes. Likes to go for German players. A German attacking mid, uh, 17. Brought in Marco Ball, a German attacking mid. Uh, he's not as good. but And then he brought in this transfer window, Eusebio, a Spanish player actually. He went, he's gone on back on loan to Spain. Also with the transfers... Uh, we have this guy called Christian coming in from Internacional in 2017 because he's not old enough yet. He's looking all right. He's attacking midfielder. Also, um, Carlos Fierro I got. He's coming in end of the season. He w he was there to approach the sign, so I, I, his contract was running up. I, I was going to go for him, get him on a free. Pretty good. Uh, Leonardo from Cruzeiro joins in 2017 as well. He is a defensive midfielder. He looks all right. These are all players that are director of football signed. He didn't manage to get these two players. Um, Nesta Torre is actually one of the really good players. He's got 2.1 million. Joins in 2016 from Velez. He is an a striker. And you look at those stats. There's a lot of good stats in there, which is really good. Um, if we look at our players, Bentner for... 4.6 million, 18 goals, pretty good. Lalon has done really well this year. Ramirez has done well. Schneider is actually wanted by Marseille. He's done really well. Jovino's at the African Cup of Nations so far. Johnny Evans, Ricky Lambert's come in and does amazingly because Bentner was injured for a bit. He scored six goals in four games. He still has that just sort of touch. Uh, Dempsey's just doing nothing as usual. Um, for the fixtures. We had a few friendlies, won them all. Then we had Rook Krozau in the third qualification. Johnny Evans got in the goal. Then we had him uh, away, actually. Jovino and J uh, Nick spent the scoring. Had Everton 1 0. Um, Donovan Moscow in the playoff 3 1 uh, at home. Yeah, Ramirez getting two and Schneiderlin. Then we had Wigan, we won 2 1. Then in Moscow, 2 1 away. We beat two, Newcastle 2 0. Uh, Nick was spent again 2. Sheffield Wednesday 2 0. Then we had our Euro Cup group. We had Hadjuk, where we beat them 2 1. Bentner and Lalana. Lost to Swansea, which is really disappointing. Then we had Dagenham and Redbridge. Uh, we won 1 0. We had quite a few other players in, like backup players. Uh, Jay Rodriguez uh, getting the goal there. Lost 2 0 to Chelsea. Basically, going to have them. Then we beat Marseille, 
two nil. Who actually the Euro Cup holders? Uh, Schneider and Bentner, which is crazy. Blackburn one nil. Arsenal we beat three two. Ramirez, John Joshua and Bentner. Ramirez got sent off as well. Then we beat CFR Cluj three one. Then lost five nil to Manu. It was oh, it was awful. And then in the Cup Cup again lost two nils. That's us. We can't defend it again. Then lost to Liverpool one nil. It was a bad run of form. But then we got it back on at two one. Uh, against Cluj away, and then lost one nil to Reading, which was awful. Then we beat Aston Villa five one, which was crazy. Lalana getting two and Bentley getting two. Stoke we beat three one, Norwich one nil, Huddersfield two nil, Hajduk four one, and by this we'd already won the group. So I simmed this last game against Omo, uh, lost two one to them away, which was all right actually. Beat Burnley and QPR between them two nil and three nil. Lost to Tottenham 1 0. Beat Everton 3 0, which is a really good game. Lost to Man City 3 1, which is disappointing. Uh, we had Leicester in the FA Cup, beating 3 0. Lambert getting 2 there. Wigan, we beat 2 1. Uh, Swansea, we had 3 2. Um, yeah, was, this is actually a really good game as well. Then we had Newcastle, we beat 1 0. Lambert getting the goal. Everton, we had beat them 2 1 in the FA Cup. Chelsea, we beat 1-0. Ricky Lambert scoring, and he missed the penalty as well. He could have got two in that game. And then Sheffield Wednesday, Ricky Lambert getting two again, which is actually really good. Um, we now have... Oh, we have a Blackman Man U. And we have Brighton in, in the FA Cup. We also have 20 in the knockout rounds of the Euro Cup. Um, but hopefully we can do really well and push on and get into the Champions League spots, hopefully. But we do have a bit of a tough run at the end of the season. But hopefully we can do well and... Uh, I'm ho I, at least hoping for Euro late cup, which is really good. But uh, we're doing actually really well here. So um, I'll be back at the end of the season. It's been Alex, guys, and see ya.